process has been about affecting change. So as much as we might be thinking about self-directed support, we're really thinking about the bigger issue of affecting change. So my advice to someone who is trying to do that within their organisation, I don't know if it's advice as such, but maybe just you know sharing things that I've learnt. I think from my own experience, the, um, the need to sort of analyse not only what you're doing, but how and why you're doing it. Um, the approach you're taking, is it the right one to take? Are there ways that you can strengthen that? But really come back to the question of, is this the right thing for me to do? Or are there allies, colleagues, others who I could perhaps work with to help make this happen? That's certainly been key, um, a, a key point for me. Um, but also from, from experience, from the discussions we've had, other people's experiences, I think it's been um, key to get a clear steer from your line manager or whoever's given the direction for you to take on this role, a clear steer of what they're expecting from you. And I suppose what you're going to be measured against my role, I think, was quite, it was new. Um, we, d we had an idea, we needed a strategic direction, a strategic approach, but there wasn't a clear, this is what we want you to deliver. Um, in that sense, it was very open, and I was able to work with my colleagues and work out what are the steps that we should be taking. And that, in my experience, was, was very positive. But I think other people had found that very challenging in that there wasn't a clear road to take or a clear agreed destination. That's maybe a key thing to try and sort out is, are, are we clear out what our organisation wants from this? And you might be at a strategic board level perhaps, or a managerial level, but there may still be pockets of disagreement, or even when we all say the same thing, is that what we really mean? So maybe just being alive to some of those challenges, some of those differences of opinion, and what does that mean for you and your role? So if someone taking on this role, I would, I would suggest understanding what it is that you're expected to contribute yourself, but also understanding what it is that ex is expected from this role in general, uh, and being clear about the part you play in that and the other people who have a part to play in that and how you work with them. So if I was to offer some advice to someone who's in a similar situation to us, trying to make a change happen in their organisation, um, I would say expect the unexpected. So you. If you're trying to make a change happen, you need to do some planning, but you also need to make sure there's space for responding to what comes and keep keep open to what's happening. And I think this process really allowed us to do that. Um, or not so much allowed, you know, the, the structure actually forced us to do that, to hold things and keep that openness. Um, because change isn't predictable, so you might go in with a great plan and after a while, if it's too rigid, you'll miss the, the way you should have been going. But I think it's accelerated everyone's ability to get to the, the nub of what is the question um, and particular themes emerge for, for managers in that situation or for business development roles in that situation where I think there's been some universal learning like, as a business development person, I'm not alone. There are others in a similar roles in similar organisations who face similar challenges, but equally one of the most important questions that came through was um, what allies do you have in the process? And so I think people who've been taking part in the Action Learning Set have realised that they have allies, they have resources within their organisations. Originally people might equate um, your position or your role with the amount of influence or authority that you have in your organisation. And one of the challenges here was um, people in a business development role don't necessarily have the, the positional authority to make things happen. But I think one of the other pieces of learning was that universally people were realising they do still have influence and they do still have significant influence if they can harness the resources of which might be people or time or reflective space. It might be harnessing arguments or evidence. Um, but once they realise what those sources of influence are, then they can be more effective at, uh, at helping change their organisations um, and helping their organisations identify where to put their, their energies to, to best effect. Mm -hmm.